to use speed ramping in your editing, it's really important to pay attention to the frame rate of your shots. And what do we mean by frame rate? Well, every single video you take is made up of a series of images. So if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, that means within one second of video, you're taking 30 individual images. When we press play on our video, these images are displayed back to us consecutively, one after the other. When watching in real time over the course of a second, these 30 frames change so rapidly on screen that we get the illusion of movement, thus achieving this one second video clip. As we can see here in LumaFusion, when we bring this clip down onto the timeline with the same frame rate, each unique frame of the clip fills a frame on the timeline resulting in smooth playback in the preview. However, if we wanted to change the speed of the clip and slow it down to let's say half its speed, we'll notice choppy playback. This is even more apparent when I slow the clip down even further to let's say a quarter of its speed. Notice now that the duration of the clip is four times its original length at four seconds long. So we're asking LumaFusion to make only 30 frames cover 120 frames worth of playback on the timeline. As our video clip doesn't have enough data within it, each frame is used four times to play out over this duration, thus resulting in this choppy footage that doesn't look good at all. See how we're watching every frame four times before we see the next one. On the other hand, take this clip here which was shot at a whopping 240 frames per second. That's eight times the frame rate of our timeline that's at 30 frames per second. When this video is brought into the same project, LumaFusion will use one of every eight frames that's been captured in this clip, filling the frames on the timeline. Jumping into the speed and reverse editor, we've then got excess frames to play with, meaning that if we choose to do so, we can slow our clip right down to an eighth of its original speed, covering eight seconds of timeline without any choppiness. Clips shot like this at a higher frame rate enable editors to fully embrace the power of speed ramping, an editing technique in which editors can smoothly transition between different playback speeds within a single clip. Those extra frames captured provide us with enough content to ramp up and down the speed of a clip, creating a range of visual effects. So how can we prepare for this? Well, when you're out filming, shoot with your desired look in mind. Shoot with purpose. So if you know or think you're going to slow the footage down in post-production, shoot at higher frame rates such as 60, 120 or even 240 frames per second to give you the most flexibility when you're speed ramping, giving you full creative control over your media. Just be aware that shooting in high frame rates can result in larger file sizes as they capture more data and require more processing power. It's also really good practice to plan which shots you want to speed ramp before you start filming, meaning you'll be sure to capture what you need in the style you desire without missing the shot and kicking yourself in the edit. So you can see that when it comes to adjusting the speed of your clips, the relationship between the frame rate of your clips and your project becomes crucial. If you're unsure of how slow you can take your clip, just look for this white check mark on the speed slider, which will tell you the slowest speed in which your footage will remain smooth on playback. Keep this in mind when you go to start a new project in LumaFusion, choosing the frame rate in the project settings. As we've explored in this video, to achieve a smooth slow motion effect with your clip, your project frame rate must be significantly less than that of your media. Keeping all this in mind will make your editing experience a whole lot easier as you'll be equipped with not only the right material to speed ramp to your heart's desire, but the creative control and technical knowledge to produce more eye-catching speed ramps for your next video. So have fun with your filming, shoot in a high frame rate if you're going to slow those clips down to make your shooting smooth and beautiful. See you later!